Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here. So today I'm going to walk you through an awesome new tool. Uh, it's definitely not new, but uh, it's new to me. I haven't seen it before and uh, super stoked about it. So uh, this tool is called Ludwig. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, I found out about this in a uh, webinar that Fourth Brain put on. Uh, that was fantastic where, uh, Ludwig was kind of explained and, and, uh, you know, talked about what it could do. So I'm not going to like, you know, spend too much time on that. Uh, if you, if you're interested in it, definitely check out the, uh, the webinar. I'll put a link in the description for that. So what is Ludwig simply? Uh, Ludwig is a really easy framework to train models. Uh, it can also be used to serve the models. It can also be used to export models. I mean, it's just got a lot of functionality. That's fantastic. It was designed at Uber, um, and it's just really powerful. Uh, so what am I going to do with Ludwig? Since of course, that's what I plan to do in the video is just do something with it. Well, I, uh, I enjoy the game called Magic the Gathering, which has these cards uh, cards have a lot of information on them. They have a lot of text. They've got some, you know, uh, images and stuff like this. So I wanted to see if Ludwig would be able to train a model that could tell me, uh, you know, what the type of the card was. So in this case, you see, we have this creature, uh, you know, information. So that's the type line of the card. And this creature is what type of card it is. So there's a bunch of uh, different cards, like instants and sorceries and creatures and artifacts. Um, and so I thought, given the name of the card, as well as the uh, image of the card, could it predict, you know, the color of the card and the uh, super type of the card or the the information, the type line? Um, so... I headed over to Colab. This is just a extension of one of their tutorial notebooks. Uh, and we got going. So the first thing I did was just, I grabbed the data. Um, it, in the case of Magic the Gathering, you can pull it all from this website called Scryfall, which is what we were just looking at. Uh, it's in a big JSON dump. And uh, once I got that loaded up into memory, I did very minimal pre processing, you know, not very efficient, just trying to uh, get the, the columns that I want and in the form I want them. So we're left with this uh, data frame, which is our the name of the card, the type line of the card that's been reduced to just its major type. So uh, I've removed other information. And the uh, URI to the image of the card and then the colors represented on the card. So in this case, uh, I've represented colorless with a C and multicolored with an M. Um, and then we just tuck away a training set for later, but uh, we don't need to do this because Ludwig will automatically parse our information into uh, the appropriate sets, which is pretty awesome. Um, so it's easy to install, just a classic kind of uh, pip install from a repository, and that's all you need. Uh, also there's an additional library that doesn't come along that you need for some of the, uh, visualizations. So just grab that here as well. And then this is kind of like, this part right here is like the work I'd say. Uh, and I say it very loosely, it's defining this kind of config. So you can see here, we have like this, uh, dictionary and it has a, uh, you know, two keys, which is input features and output features. And then each of those is a list of dictionaries that talk about our features. So in this case, we have two features for inputs. That is the image of the card. Now it's called normal because it's the normal sized image. So that's why it's called normal. We can specify the type as image. So Ludwig is able to infer what this means and how to interact with it, which is incredible. So we're not having to write uh, code that downloads all the images in a certain you know size or in a certain format. Uh, we could just pass the parameter of type as image, which is pretty awesome. And then uh, some pre-processing. So indicating that this, in this case, it's a colored image. Um, we also have the name of the card, which is text. And again, Ludwig is going to do some processing for us, but we don't have to worry about that past just this. Um, 
and then we set up our output features. So in this case, I'm having it predict both the type line and the color of the card. Uh, now I assume that the color of the card will be quite easy uh, for the model since uh, we have the image and you know it's pretty clear what's red, white, blue, green, or black. So uh, you know, very straightforward there. And we also have the type line. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to determine. Um, you know, it uh, giving the image and the name to me makes it so that, uh, you know, there's, there's a number of ways it can be interpreting the information in order to get the correct predictions. You'll also notice that this is a multimodal model, right? We're talking about images and text as inputs here. Uh, and, it, you know... It, this is what we do. We just we just make this config config. We just make this config option, and we're kind of away to the races. So, once we've got our config set up, we can make the actual model object. We just import from Ludwig API Ludwig model, and we pass in the config as well as what amount of logging we want. So I can't stress to you. That this, this is all that is done so far. Real, realistically, outside of some very light pre-processing on our data, we've made an object with input features and output features, and we've instantiated a model uh, with, with that exact config option, and then we've told it what kind of logging we want. And then we train it, and the rest is handled by Ludwig. And, I mean, it does everything that we'd want it to do, right? So we can kind of look through some of this and just see what it's doing. So it detects the GPU we have, uh, our torch version, what format the data's in. It gives us a seed for reproducibility. Um, you know, it, it parses out the, the configs for us. Um, it saves everything we want into a convenient uh, directory. It does a ton of pre-processing on the data. Uh, it processes our images. It does basically everything it optimizes uh, very few things out of the box, uh, but it does optimize them. You can get pretty in depth if you look through the docs for Ludwig. Like you can get, uh, you know, pretty specific about what you want, which is I think what ma what makes it like a very powerful tool is that it's not just this kind of really obfuscated low code solution that you don't have any control over. Uh, you can get really into the weeds with Ludwig, and I think that's an incredible uh, boon for it. And yeah, then it starts training. Uh, and as you can see, like we're getting this beautiful printout of a bunch of metrics. Uh, it's it's automatically saving our best checkpoints. So if we don't have an improvement, uh, you know, it won't save the, the checkpoint. So this is an indication of that, right? So the improvement of type line validation accuracy happened 62 steps ago. So it's not going to save this checkpoint for us. Uh, and then at some point, you know, after it plateaus, uh, it stops the train for you. So once your model stopped learning, uh, it goes ahead and stops that. And again, all of these hyperparameters are fully tunable. You can, I mean, even they are literally tunable. Uh, if we head over to the docs and we go to a user guide, we have the ability to do uh, hyperparameter tuning through a number of different methods. So it's, you know, Ludwig really does let you get at the, the core of ML very quickly, and you can iterate and experiment off the back of this um, fantastically. Next up, we can print all of our stats, and that's going to show us all of these lovely metrics, every metric you could want. Um, it's, you know, in, in a very clean, straightforward, uh, you know, info dump here. Very happy with it. It comes with some pretty fantastic out-of-the-box visualizations. So we can see this confusion matrix showing us how our predictions are doing on the various classes. Uh, we can get our ranked entropy. Uh, we can do the same thing for our other classes that we're trying to predict. And then we can also visualize all of our... Uh, curves and again this is this is all with this is one line of code to get the curve right uh the confusion matrix is it, it looks like a lot of lines it's technically one one call 
you know, and training itself is is nothing, right? Like we we essentially did three steps. We set this config, we instantiated the model, and then we you know we clicked train, and and away we go. And this is a non-trivial problem. Like uh, to to build this out yourself would probably take some amount of time. And the fact that you can do it all with just those three steps is incredible. Um, and then, of course, we can export this model to TorchScript for easy deployment. Uh, we can push our model to the hub using the Hugging Face CLI and Git. We can really do everything. Um, and I just can't recommend this tool enough. If you're newer in the ML space and you're looking for an easier, gentle introduction to what you can do. Like say you've got some data and you're excited by it and you're not quite sure, you know, how to get into uh, something like PyTorch and making training loops. Uh, I feel like Ludwig's a really excellent solution. It is low code. It's not no code. So you get into the code a little bit. Um, I guess not hugely technical, but you still do get into it. It has you think about what your data looks like, what shapes it has, what processing you want to do on it. Um, Really, I just love this tool. I uh, After that webinar, like I was playing around with it, and I, just, I can't get enough. It's awesome. Uh, so uh, hopefully, uh, you know, if you haven't already heard of it, you uh, are excited by it and can give it a try, uh, definitely visit their, uh, their website or their repository. Uh, links to both will be in the uh, description below. Uh, but incredible work. Uh, absolutely love this tool. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and we will see you in the next one.